uh, you know signaling responsibility we will see more in detail in the later later topic so this one trx i plan for the bcch and uh, my another trx is i need to plan on a tch so you can see now this the this this different color are showing the different layers so green is showing the tch layer for the traffic and the, the red is showing the tc is uh, red is showing the bcch layer so you can see this my this trx my green trx is is a tch trx right and my red trx is bcch trx let us do one small plan of frequency here so as we know that we have uh, two band so i can i can uh, write down here 1 to 12 we have frequency for uh, bcch and we have not 13 13 is for uh, not used because we have skip uh, for the guard band right where we have another frequency from starting from 14 to 41 so this is for tch and this is for BCCH. So let us plan the BCCH frequency for 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 this cell site. So let us plan. Uh, okay, it's very easy here. We have only one cell site, so no need to worry much. Okay, now you understand the co-channel and adjacent channel as I dis described in the previous chapter. So here you can see there is uh, I I put the frequency number one. Now I cannot put the two here. Otherwise, what will happen within the same site? We we will end up into the adjacent channel. I cannot put the one also. Otherwise, it will be co-channel. So I have to I have to keep some distance from one. If more you keep the distance is good. But let us say we'll use five over here. So it is quite safe. We are very far from each other. We are not adjacent channel. And here I will use nine. So we have used three frequency out of twelve. And for now green let us let us try uh, the planning for green so it's very easy i can start from 14 here then i will skip at least four frequency gaps so i'll put 18 here and i'll keep 22 here so you can see that within the same cell i'm using 14 18 and 22 so they are not adjacent they are not co-channel same way in the other side i can start uh, maybe i can use 24 just for uh, 28 32 and 32 over here then i can use here 36 maybe 40 then you can see i cannot uh, use uh, 44 because it is not belongs to me i have up to 41 so i need to find some frequency so what i'll do is i will use 20 over here as uh, you can see now in the entire cell site there is a no adjacent channel there is no adjacent frequency there is no co frequency right so you need to take care of this so it seems like you know any kid can do this work right because here you have one cell site and you have enough uh, you know frequencies so it's quite easy to do that but when you really do i mean for the real network planning where you know uh, it's not easy i mean let me tell you that means sometime it's become more and more complex yeah so if you have the real network yeah and you can see over here now if i have uh, this one side you have another side you have another side another side so you can see that you have so many cell sites nearby the distance are not far maybe one kilometer or maybe less than one kilometer and each cell has a four trx so you know that means the three is tch and the one has to be bcch so now you can see every cell site we have a 12 trx total so everywhere we have a 12 trx so every site has a 12 trx means every direction we have four trx right so you can see here we have uh, how many cell sites we have one two three four five six seven eight so we have a total total eight sites sites in one small area sites and each site has a 12 trx so how many total trx we have is ninety six trx okay 
so you can see in the small area in the small town where we are we have a close by all the sites and we have total 96 TRX so we need to assign the 96 frequency and it is ideally if, if they are unique and uh, without a distant channel it is much better but you know means in out of 96 I mean y you know uh, every site right I mean you have eight sites and every sales site every sales you require one TRX so for example here is a one TRX is BCCH same here it should be BCCH so same here it should be BCCH so you can see in the one site you have a one two and three TRX are the BCCH so you have a total eight sites and three TRX are BCCH TRX so how many BCCH uh, TRX's you need to plan is 24 TRX now for this 24 TRX how many frequencies are available with you is the 12 frequency right is a 12 frequency is available now same way if you see uh, you have a uh, eight sites and you can see here is a three TRX on a TCH here must be three here must be three so total nine TRX so every site eight site and every site is a nine TCH TRX so total is Seventy three TRX. Okay, my mistake is so this many TRX you need to plan. So for the TCH you have to plan seventy two TRX, right? And for this seventy two TRX, so how many frequencies are available total with you? Is a twenty eight frequency, and for the BCCH is a twelve frequency so now you can see uh, let me uh, let me find out some ratio uh, let me summarize this so in your in your town or in your area you have uh, you have uh, right you have uh, eight sites uh, in, in the eight sites uh, you have uh, how many TRX for the BCCH was 24 TRX and for TCH you have 72 TRX so total was uh, total is uh, 96 TRX network in this uh, this is you need to plan from 12 frequency this one you need to plan from 28 frequency and we have skipped the one frequency as a guard frequency between the BCCH layer and the TCH layer so now you can see in the BCCH uh, you know how it is possible I mean see you can you have to plan 20 24 TRX you have 12 frequency only so you need to plan two frequency two frequency per TRX I mean let me simplify this we need to reuse we have to reuse the same frequency two times to plan the two TRX otherwise we cannot manage this now the same way if you see on the TCH TRX TCH TRX we have a 72 divided by 28 so how much it is 72 divided by 28 so it comes around 2.5 or 2.6 times so we have to use 2.6 times one frequency to plan your total 72 TRX so we have to reuse them I mean in the small area you can understand I mean in this small area I have to use the one frequency two times for BCCH by keeping the the d distance and all this in, in mind so that they don't end up into the core channel so I will plan like this way so you have to manage this right so can understand I mean our biggest limitation is the the lack of frequency we don't have enough frequency right now so that's what the problem we are facing now right so it is good to know I mean you understand now what is the BCCH layer what is the TCH layer how many frequencies are available 
and how we need to plan this frequency this is very simple to understand but uh, more we go in the deeper uh, we'll, we'll see that how we plan this uh, BCCH layer how we plan the TCH layer so uh, I'll see you very soon in the other chapter right thank you bye bye